Let's talk about ADSB. I was an early adopter, so when my Avidyne stack got installed, I had them put in the MLB100, which is a brand new ADSB receiver. It gave you a dot with a plus or minus hundreds of feet of the uh, traffic that you could see out there, but there wasn't too much traffic to see in those days. As time went on, that interface evolved and the software evolved, but my system was never changed and eventually it became a little bit unreliable. I'd get bus errors and different kinds of data errors. In talking to the Avidyne folks about this, they encouraged me to upgrade to the SkyTrack 200. So how hard could it be to replace a box with an identically sized and mounted box? Well, it turns out it could be pretty hard. In my airplane, it was mounted behind the, the panel or just forward of the right side panel to the side of the avionics stack. And then there were two more radios stacked on top of it. So I looked at that and I thought, well, this is not easy. Luckily, I was able to find an avionics dealer and actually in DeKalb, Illinois, DeKalb Avionics, really nice folks. And they were able to do it in basically an afternoon at a very reasonable price and get it all configured and set to go. So now I have the Skytrax 200 installed. And I got to tell you, it's a wonderful thing. It's really marvelous. I mean, first of all, being dual band, it receives both frequencies on the ground. So before I take off, I start seeing traffic in the area. And secondly, the interface is now the modern interface, which you know, I guess a lot of people have been watching ADSB this way for a while. But hey, it's new to me. And uh, I really like seeing the trend lines and the blue lines and, uh, and the end numbers on the, on the targets. And just the fact that it's completely reliable is really nice. Now I've been playing with the iPad lately and that interfaces to the IFT 550. With ForeFlight running on the iPad, that shows the traffic also very nicely, along with all the other data elements, the weather and so on. So all things considered, it's just a remarkable upgrade and uh, really changed the way this system works. Um, having been through the whole process from the early days to now, now is better. If you have an MLB 100 that you're still limping along with, I'd really encourage you to try that Skytrax 200. It'll really change what you think about ADSB. Thanks for riding along. We'll catch you on the next one.